G'day fellow miners and welcome to a new series. Uh, this series is going to be basically a bit of a tutorial slash block spotlight for Feed the Beast Unleashed, the new Feed the Beast pack which is uh, compatible with Minecraft 1.5.2. Basically what I want to cover in this series is some of my favourite blocks in the game and a few of the um, a few of the mechanics that I may have previously used or um, have played around with um, in my little or my currently limited unleashed experience. Uh, today we are looking at, and this may this may be familiar to some of you who watched my Hypermind 2.0 uh, series. This is the portal dialer um, I used in. Um, my crucible uh, in the base that I had in the nether. Um, there was a few requests for me to do a tutorial on how it worked um, and how uh, it is set up. This is a slightly modified version because some of the mechanics no longer work with the old um, the old portal dialer but this is a slightly improved version and we'll get straight into it we'll start building straight away. Okay, we are going to go through quickly what you need for this build. You will need uh, 16 crystal which can be obtained by uh, creating a mist world with the crystal page. Um, if you know anything about mistcraft you'll know how to do that. If not you'll have to look that up. You'll need book receptacles which you can craft using crystals. Um, recipes in any eye. I'm not going to bother you with that and, and the same with all these other recipes. You'll need nine advanced monitors, one advanced computer, a wireless modem, two wireless turtles, two routers, two machine filters and two auto ejectors for router upgrades. Okay let's get into building the actual portal. Um, you are going to need to start out by building a 5x5 five five portal frame without putting a block down in the wrong spot. Like so, so that it has a 3x3 three three interior. You then place your advanced monitors in uh, the back of the portal like so to make a 3x3 three three, uh, advanced monitor. Next place your book receptacles halfway up the portal frame, like so. Then place your wireless turtles facing the receptacles like this. Yeah, that can be accomplished by targeting the receptacle and shift clicking. You then want to place your advanced computer on the back here of the monitor in the middle. And then place your modem on top of the advanced computer like so. So it has to be on the top. And again, they're going to be done by shift clicking. Then you want to take your routers and place them underneath the turtles like this. And apply your two router, uh, your two filters to each uh, router. Okay, this is what you should have now. Uh, this is the fully assembled portal. Uh, system. If it doesn't look like this, make sure that uh, your turtles are in front of your uh, book receptacles, your routers are underneath your turtles, um, and your computer is facing the back, so its back is touching the monitor, and the modem is on top of the computer. So double check all that. And if it doesn't look like this, go back and go through the building process again, and double check everything you've done. Next we're going to go on to configuring the routers and doing some configuration on the turtles and the advanced computer. Okay, next we are going to configure our routers. Uh, this is done by going into your router's interface, changing insert to extract, and changing the slot from uh, top side to slot zero. Next, go to your machine filter, leave this on visit all and change this to book receptacle and then 
the auto ejector should be defaulted to eject up if not change it to eject up now this will allow the router to access this book receptacle through this turtle because these are linked inventories so do that with both routers so extract from slot zero visit all book receptacle eject up that will allow the routers to remove the books from the receptacles and place them back into the turtles okay so the next step is to configure our wireless turtles um, what you want to do is you first want to type in this command label space set space and then give them a name so let's call this one pt1 and then we'll go over to this one call this one label set pt2 and then we'll go into the advanced computer and we'll do the same thing label set uh, PC okay it's important that you label any uh, turtles and computers that you have if you wish them to continually run a program after your server restarts or after you uh, exit and re-enter your world um, with once you've labeled turtles and computers they will keep any programs that you save to them um, stored in a file on the server or in your uh, world save so the next thing we need to do is we need to download some programs we'll start with pt1 and we will use this command and I'll just get the code from paste bin you will type in this paste bin get and I'll include this code in the description that is the paste bin page for the code that you need and you want to name it startup and you need all of that paste bin get the code for paste bin and then the word startup now that will save the program to this turtle as startup do that for the second turtle as well paste bin get the code and then call it startup again now once you've uploaded it on your second turtle you need to edit the program and change one one thing in it so you type edit startup and it'll bring up some code you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and then back up to this line here line 84 modem dot open you want to change the number of this to 12 um, you may need to change it to a completely different number and you may need to change it on both turtles but I'll explain that a little bit later uh, we then press control and then press S and then press control again and press E and that takes us back to our prompt and that's that done uh, if you want to restart your turtle you can hold control and R together for about one second and you'll see that what will happen is it'll come up with this little thing here waiting for signal and you'll see the black band this black band on this modem is now red which indicates that this modem is listening for a signal so we'll do the same on this turtle we'll type in we'll hold down control plus r and again this turtle is now waiting for a signal so this turtle is waiting for a signal on channel 11 this turtle is waiting for a signal on channel 12 and that's important when you get into multiple pages uh, like i have here um, that uh, it sends it to a different turtle because the turtles have a limited inventory so they can only hold 16 books and as you know this as this page has 12 buttons on it so generally what I have is a turtle for each 12 different books okay we now need to download some uh, some software for our advanced computer again that is up on my paste bin page so we need to do the same command paste bin get and then this is a different code this is for the portal control computer which is why we call it PC again you want to name it startup so that so that when your server restarts or you you leave and come back to your game this computer will uh, automatically run this program um, and uh, you have to do some editing to this so we'll go edit well you don't if you want to keep the buttons 
um, default you can but as you can see here there is a bunch of labels now these labels are what will show up on the buttons in this uh, on this screen and there's a, a set for each page so these are the page one buttons and you want to change this section here now you have to remember this needs to be nine characters long so if you wanted to change for, for instance this to hub like I have it on my other one you need uh, you need to have three spaces one two three then hub let's do it in capitals hub then one two three so you need nine characters in total and this is why it's got a space then button one then a space because button one is seven characters long and it needs a space in front and behind to make it nine characters this is to keep the buttons square so you just have to re, uh, rename all of these um, red names to the, what you want the buttons to be called. And again, as I said, this is the first page and this is the second page here. Um, if you want to increase the number of pages you have, you can do that. You just have to copy this, uh, it's called an array or a table, um, and paste it in and change it to like page three buttons and then change these to uh, one three two three 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 four three etc and then add in another set of uh, these button this button code but that's probably a little more advanced than most people um, will be able to handle but for now you can there's plenty of, I mean there's 24 different buttons for you to play with in this system um, if anybody wants me to, I can increase the number of um, pages and buttons, uh, like so I can add add more pages, it's just a matter of copying and pasting, uh, and I can do that if I have time, so either send me a message via Twitter or YouTube um, to request that and I'll let you know whether or not I have time to actually do it. But this should give you plenty of destinations for your, um, your miscraft. Uh, books. So remember that you need to have nine characters, so includes including spaces um, to keep your button centered. So what, let's just hold down Control and R, and there we go. Our computer is restarted. You can see the buttons are displayed on the screen. We can push a button, and it will say opening portal, and then it will close. Um, and this turtle here would have tried to put a book in, but it doesn't have one. So let's put a book in now. Press button one. We'll see the port. The turtle puts a book in. Book is there, and the router removes the book and places it back in the turtle. That is pretty much it, guys. Um, this will remain running when you, as I said, when you turn off your and when you turn off your, uh, stop your server, or uh, and restart it. Uh, or when you log off from your single player game and restart it. Um, all you need to do is now put the corresponding books to the buttons in here. Um, now this is three by four, but what you need to do is you need to put your first book here, second one here, third, fourth. So it's uh, from top right going left down to the bottom. So you should have the first 12 slots filled with books corresponding to these buttons. Um, hope you guys f found this uh, tutorial firstly easy to follow. I know it's fairly advanced, but secondly, very useful. Um, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and keep on digging.